YouTube, YouTube. Boy, it's hot as fuck. I mean, excuse my language. YouTube, it's your boy Mike Lethal in the flesh. Or in the building, in the flesh. I'm sorry. I'm over here fucking up. It's so hot. It just got me like, what the hell is going on? But yes, today is the day. I finally go home. I'm going home for the rest of this year. So, you know, I'm going to be tucked up. I'm going to be tight in my own area, in my own space. I'm not going to be going out. I, I got a few trips to take. Um, I got. I owe, I owe it. <clears throat> I owe my birthday to go do something. So I might go to Cali. <clears throat> might go to Cali. <clears throat> I got to go to Cali for my brother. Got to go see my brother. Um, so that's a that's that's on my agenda. Cali. Uh, I'm supposed to be going to Canada to go see my boy play football. Um, where else? I still got to go to Atlanta. I actually, crazy thing about it, I've never been to Atlanta. I still got to go to Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta as far as going to the airport, but I have not went to Atlanta. Like, I have not stepped in Atlanta, like, outside type shit. So, like, I definitely got to go to Atlanta. Um, <clears throat> what else? And, I mean... I want to go to Arizona, but I don't really know, man. Like, I'm not trying to do too much. I'm not trying to spend too much money. Like I say, I'm a, I'm off for the season, so I don't want to go crazy. Um, but I definitely have to spend time with my daughters. Um, that's number one for me. Um, spend time with them. Um, that's pretty much all I, all I really got planned. Like, just take a couple trips, a few days, spend time with my daughters. Um, just, I have to really get on my shit, though. Like, once I get back home, I have to, uh, I actually have to call my insurance right now. So, I got to make sure I'm on insurance when I pull out of the company car, out of, out of the lot at my job i have my car left i left my car in missouri so basically right now i gotta drive to missouri not right now but later on tonight <clears throat> i'm driving to missouri it's like 10 hours nine and a half or whatever nine and a half hours there and then i have basically i have like 10 hours once i get to missouri and i get in my car which is crazy bro um long situation um i'm not going to explain it i'm not going to really it's too much business you know what i'm saying but i actually have to drive an extra two hours just to go back another it was it where i what where i'm be dropping this company car at it's only it's literally only like seven hours away from home but i have to drive two extra hours just to go somewhere to drive all the way all the way back the other way so it's kind of like damn just the extra two hours on top of the seven hours that i had to drive so i got nine hours to drive nine hours extra <clears throat> to drive back home tomorrow in the morning and and then i have to go in the afternoon unfortunately i have to go i have to wait and get to this certain spot in the afternoon so that kind of sucks for me kind of sucks so i think i will be hoteling it i will probably be hoteling it maybe like two times through the through the drive i'm not a bruh anybody know me i do not like driving especially when it comes to long distance i do not do this shit like that's why i'm not a truck driver and i could be a truck driver but i could not do the long the long rides on the road are just not for me <clears throat> it's just not for me <clears throat> so yeah i gotta i'm actually sick too matter of fact i got a little sick a few days ago but i'm feeling a lot better uh, i'm just happy man it's the last day of work it's well not the last day but uh 
this yesterday night to this morning was the last day. So it's pretty much the afternoon. I think it's like one or two o'clock almost right now. Um, and I'm in Texas. I'm in. I'm. I went. To, I was in Houston before. Now I'm in like uh, what is this Livingston, Livingston, Texas or whatever. So yeah, I'm in Livingston right now, and uh, it's a little small town next to, kind of close, kind of close to Houston, but it's not really that close. It's like a de a decent distance from Houston. So yeah, so like from here, we are gonna decide to leave at like nine o'clock in the afternoon. So it's only like one or two so i definitely got to get my sleep because i'm gonna do a couple hours i'm gonna let somebody else take the wheel off also but i got a few hours to uh to head back home i got like but like i said we got nine hours got nine hours so obviously later on i'm getting some rest <clears throat> not later on but in a few actually in a few because i i actually went to work and didn't get no sleep i just realized that be I think it's more so because I'm so happy that I'm finally able to go home that I kind of like, it's kind of just hit me now and I'm like, fuck, I, I really can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy to be to be able to go back home. This is the longest I think I've been on the road. I want to say this has been like three and a half months. Well, nah, this ain't the longest. This ain't the longest, but when you get when you get a date that you're supposed to be gone and, and then you wind up going way beyond that date, it's irritating. It gets irritating to you. So I've been on the road. I was only supposed to be on the road for seven weeks and it wound up being like 12 or 13, matter of fact. So yeah, I was very irritated. Like going from seven to 13 and not expecting that. When you're thinking like, oh, I'm finna leave at this time. A lot of shit happened at this store. They wind up telling us, hey, y'all got like, Y'all gotta wait on us. We we'll we'll start y'all off October first, and we're like, wait a minute, we were supposed to be done by then. What the fuck is going on? But I'm very thankful that we got a little extra money. You know what I'm saying to go home with. <clears throat> so you know, just go home. Uh, my daughter, uh, my firstborn, she got a birthday. She had a birthday. She had a birthday right when I left. So I have to go home spend time with her and, and um, take care of her for her birthday. Even though Maz actually just, Maz actually just passed a few days ago, which is crazy. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't really celebrate my shit. I really don't do shit for my birthday. It's I've, I think the last time I really got a crazy, like I had like a good, good, good birthday was probably like when I was 12. And that was like, like, you know, me going to the movies and like seeing Chicken Little. I remember seeing Chicken was it Chicken Run or something? It's called Chicken Little Run or some shit. Chicken Run or something. It was a good movie. It was like a childish movie. Like I was only, I was like 12, 11 or some shit like that. So yeah, that was my, uh, probably one of my favorite uh, <clears throat> birthdays. I never got nothing crazy for my birthday. So I just really like, it's, and it's not, it's not that I want it. It's cause I'm not the type to even like, to even care about getting anything like gifts or anything gifts because i never got it growing up like besides christmas like you know we had a couple good christmases it was we had some that weren't good so like you know what i'm saying when it comes to like gifts and shit like that like people say they love languages gifts and shit like that i don't really care for that shit because i'm gonna do for myself and i and i shouldn't think like this but that's just me like i'm gonna do for me regardless if anybody do anything for me regardless i I can I can care less because at the end of the day I'm gonna take care of myself because I've always been I've always pretty much like been been by myself type shit like just in life in general just like like my backstory is crazy on my life like you know what I'm saying that's something for when my YouTube get big and you know when I get back over here consistent when I finally get myself consistent enough to really be posting every day and get enough like viewers and get enough subscribers and shit like that to really tap into me. And like, I will like explain my life and how I grew up and I had a hard life, man. I'm a young man, like, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I wasn't I was always this 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 calm. I was a wild young man, you know what I'm saying? That was in the streets type shit. Like, you know, just want, wanted, like, you know, just dealing with a lot of, you know, family issues, you know what I'm saying? Not really having a family, being adopted and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Getting kicked out young. 
today. Just a just a just a quick summary of a little bit of what 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 has went on and it, it transpired in my life. But you know, regardless, like I say, I'm a man today. I can say, man, I grew up, man. Like that's one thing I will say about myself. Like I definitely grew up, man. Like proud of myself. Like you know, if, if nobody proud of me, I'm proud of myself. Cause like I came from nothing and I made made a way. Not saying that I'm out here like, um, I'm not finna see her act like I'm like, I'm good, good. I'm, I'm comfortable. I, I wish I was better, you know what I'm saying? But I'm comfortable, so I'm not complaining. You know what I'm saying? So like, you feel me? Like, I'm just content with myself and I'm just comfortable. And and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself because I've done a lot of things that I thought I never would do. I got a car. I got one of my favorite cars now. Um, that's just a little tad bit of a milestone that I've been through. But uh, it's been 11 minutes already. Um, I'm getting back home. When I get back home, I got to focus on getting this, getting this crib. Uh, not only that, I have, um, I have to... Uh, I actually have to get... I'm going to work a little bit while I'm off because um, I plan on not... I don't want to come back. I actually don't want to come back to this job. Um, I'm actually trying to figure shit out. I'm going to have to look into some more shit because uh, I really don't want to come back to this job. Um, unfortunately, all this moving around, I've been missing a part of my daughter's life and I don't, I, I don't want to continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how it feels to not have a father in your life and it's not it's not easy. It's not easy at all, you know what I'm saying? And like um the last time I left my daughter like uh, she looked at me <clears throat> like she knew she like she told me don't leave and I couldn't it was like it's not like that's a that's that that really hit me hard. Like she told me don't leave and as I was leaving she was just like I was trying to get a hug and a kiss and she said no. She didn't want it. Like she let me know and I could see it on her face that like she was like, yo, you keep leaving me. And like I never want her to go through nothing like that. Cause I never really had my father in my life. So I didn't have him going in and out of my life like I've been doing. But it's only been because of work. I literally always spend time with her when I'm not working. Like literally, like that's my main priority. <clears throat> like always to go check on my daughter, see if she okay before I go back to work. I've done that this whole year. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can say I haven't did that. And like, yeah, I'm going back. I'm going straight back. Uh, back to back home this year, no working for the rest of the, the end of this year. So I'm able to do that. I'm able to be consistent and just do, be there for a while. I don't want to go back out, but I, I just have to. If I have to, I will have to, unfortunately, like, you know what I'm saying? I got to work. I got to, you know, I got to, um, I just got to, I got to support her. Not only her, I got to support myself. Like, like, I don't have it like everybody else. Like, you got to understand, I don't have family behind me to where I could be like, hey, let me, let me, let me stay with you. And I'm going to just, you know, stack my bread heavy. Until I really got it, then I could be like, boom, all right, I'm going to get up out of there. I'm going to move to a nice, big-ass building. Like, nah, I ain't got it like that. I'm unfortunately, due to my, you know, my my, my past, you know, uh, going through life and shit like that with family and shit like that, I'm not able to, like, I got to get on my grind. And that's one thing that I've always, I've always done for myself, like, no matter what, even when I didn't have a kid. You know what I'm saying like I was always like out there like I remember I had like two jobs and, and some lady asked me man my manager asked me she's like man why are you working like that like do you you got kids I'm like nah it's just me bro like I just I just want better for myself like I, I, I came from nothing so like like it's it's a different mindset for me like to get it you know what I'm saying like, I've always been like that you know what I'm saying but yeah anyways man I've been talking I've been rambling uh motivational motivational speech today man just keep pushing man because regardless man if ain't, if ain't nothing working right now i'm telling you you keep grinding you're gonna see it come like it's it's just it's a matter of time like regardless like 
it's a matter of time. Don't ever give up. Um, but yeah, man, um, I've been decide. I've been trying to make my decision. Um, you know, I'm a boxer and shit like that. You know, I've been off. I've been. I've been. Um, I've been at the the gym for like about a year. Um, I'm still in shape. Crazy is it's crazy that like I'm still in shape and I I still look like I still box this and that. Like I've been gone for like a year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, <coughs> damn, I'm sick. <coughs> Got this drop. <coughs> Anyways, man. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> All right, but anyway, I'm about to get off here because uh, I've been on here too long and I got to post this and I want to be able to post it. I want it to be able to come today, which is, I don't even know what today is, honestly. I don't know, but it, I know it's, what is, what's today? Uh, It's Friday. It's Friday. So today, Friday, Um, I'm about to get off and post this. Um. But yeah, I plan on, like I say, I plan on going back to the boxing gym. That's something I'm thinking about in my mind. Um, if I go back to work, it's kind of pointless. If I go back on the road, because it'd be like, yo, you trying to get in shape for two months to get back on the road and be lazy like I've been doing lately. I actually been lazy. I ain't been doing shit. But anyways, it's your boy Mike Luther, man. I'm just giving y'all a little update of what's going on, man. I'm just a little happy today. So, you know, I'm like, fuck it, let me post. But it's your boy Mike Lethal, and I'm out.